Welcome back folks to Let's Play Champions of Kreen. Last time we left off, we freed a woman from Sanction. She told us what's happening. And we also thwarted some of the recruiting done in uh, Sanction. We also know that um, there is a... Um, there is a Thieves Guild. We got the sign, we got the password. So I think what we can do now is first of all go and train uh, where is the training room over here because everybody in my party can train except for Elsa or Adrian and Tolgrim so let's train Sari will become a level 7 fighter and he's got a long way to go for a level 7 mage I hope they get to level 7 now Rania level 7 Anya level 8 thief and nothing else not enough experience, of course. So we can begin adventuring. Okay, do we want to go to the inn? Because this could be interesting if we can somehow rest. Okay, we should go to the inn. Yes, I need to rest. Go through the door to the east. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we can fix. Okay, let's take a look at our characters. View. You have 12 taco. You have 11 taco. Now, you don't have much in the way of damage. See, 1d8 plus 2. This is not much. Also, we have much, 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 much less HPs than our, uh, sorry, our other party members. Well, not that much. I mean, Torgrim, yeah, but he's not a pure fighter. Like Sir Adrian, which is a, who's a knight, he has way more HPs than Sariel. It might also be that I did not level up properly, but it is what it is. Can we memorize some spells? We probably want to memorize Thinking Doodoo. As always, Thinking Doodoo is the best spell in this game, and probably for the rest of uh, of the series. Like, you cannot... you have memorizing spells. Okay, you, you can. Can I also memorize spells? No, you cannot. But that is not a problem, because I think rangers get resist fight, which is extremely useful okay first of all we get in here I want to cast no I want to first remove search uh, then I want to cast maybe a bless fantastic and I want to cast a prayer also fantastic just in case do we need an enlarge we don't have enlarge anymore, so let's just move. Let's pick this lock. The sign from the thief has gotten you into the door without everyone scattering. The hall is full of thieves that are not happy with the few fighters that are also there. One of the thieves starts making elaborate gestures. He poses for your response. What do you do? Um, we could bluff. I mean, the thief scattered to the winds. The fighters throw their weapons at attack. Is that successful or is that not successful? I don't quite get it. Let us just guard for now. Okay, so you guys, let's see, let's wait, let's wait. Let's move up and guard. So you guys are closing in now. Ideally. You know, I'm going to move here, I'm going to cast an old person. Ideally, I want to go with one, two, and three. Fantastic! Great! Okay. Um, I have to do that manually. Okay, you know what? Screw that. Okay, can we... yeah, kill this one. There you go, that's a lot of damage. Ooh, there you go, now we have we have a lot of attacks now. Um, Probably think best to backstab this guy. I will wonder... No, you're still gonna do two attacks with the bow. Ooh, 
we're taking good care of these guys. Okay, you know what? I think the bow has kind of made its due course. Now we have 13 taco, not the best, but at least we had two attacks. So everybody's now able to really, really perform. Except for our thief cleric, obviously. Uh, this plate mail, nothing crazy. No, I don't want to go back. Zwaggering mercenary uh, are spoiling for a fight. What do you do? I'm just gonna back off. Okay, we can pick this lock, which we obviously failed, and we can bash. The party has found treasure, got some experience, we can share, take, bracers, and necklace. Uh, these items uh, are good. We might want to give... Yeah, I was wondering, can you use the, the bracers, Anya? Okay, we need to go and identify those two items, by the way. See what they are. Yes, no... Jesus. Yes, I want to do that. Okay, view. Okay, view, items. Identify. Bracers of AC plus four and necklace of... Okay, if I do this... You go to, like, zero armor class. That's actually good. So it's better to not have a leather armor than to have it. Okay. I dig that. I would say goodbye then. So with that, we are basically done here. Yeah, pretty much. So all we have to do... Well, we can explore this area. There's nothing. Like, really nothing. So let us move. There is nothing here. We can bash through this area. But here is the entrance. There are some uh, minotaurs. We can run away. The entrance should be not here, though. The entrance should be in this one. As she mentioned, the one below the warehouse. The amulet glows, revealing the secret entrance. Do you wish to go through it? Hmm, yes. A creaking, swinging wall opens into the dank, oppressive quiet of the Temple of Wurzid. The temple is a crumbling ruin. Dust swirls up at your passing. There are draconian footprint in the deep, ra deep dust. They look fairly recent. Okay. So we explore this area. Off of this hallway and many cells that are used to be occupied by the monks and priests of Wurzid. They have been long since abandoned. So these are all these are just cells. I don't think there's anything in here but pain and suffering. You encounter a patrol. There are only, I think, four patrols here, but they will... Um, oh. Okay, so we have one caster. Now the question should rather be... I'm gonna stick in Dudu. Great. We made short work of these guys. Okay, so yell. Absolutely. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's try to take these guys out. Uh, I think you can go with a stinking doo doo yourself. One over there, please. Thank you very much. Now. Compared to my first run through when I played on my big channel, which is basically screwed because I made Final Fantasy videos over there, and now all my subscribers are from Final Fantasy, so YouTube doesn't really recommend my videos because nobody from Final Fantasy watches them. So YouTube thinks, oh, well, well you have a shitty channel, so whatever, bro. And I cannot share... Okay, let, let, me, let me make this very very particularly clear. I don't care about the clout and the money that YouTube gives because honestly first of all you you don't you don't get to get money. It's just a myth. You maybe get some pocket change for a coffee. And I find it stupid really. I, I, doing let's plays for the money, I think it's dumb because at the end of the day if you are a content creator and you want people to sit through and suffer through your ads, 
you might as well, you know, offer some kind of content. Failing to do so, I mean, you, you're not really a content creator by doing Let's Plays. Like, you're sitting there with your thumbs up your ass, uh, playing a video game and not entertaining. There is no format to your... Uh, to your videos. They're just you playing the game, talking some stuff into the microphone and people might enjoy that. I, I, I have no doubts that is there are many people that still enjoy that or even dump money into that. But for me, I think I don't want to be disrespectful towards the people that actually watch the videos. So I do prefer to just, you know, um, focus on my mm, video game making process and um, just do this so I can share this experience. I like the fact that, for instance, Kibitz is watching my videos and is sharing what he's went through, how he approached the game, and I like that. That's what I like about Let's Plays. It's, you can talk with people that actually play the game and you can uh, remember and have fun. I mean, is that the purpose of a Let's Plays at any way? Regardless, guys, regardless, uh, maybe you need a bow now, because reasons. Okay, so regardless, I, I, I think, I think, uh, what I was about to say, yes, because of that, my, my big channel doesn't get any, any attention, because I screwed myself by making Final Fantasy videos. And um, the point of that is to share my... My, my, my old games with the people and hopefully people will uh, talk about the games they can even join I'm basically on Mile and um, Ghost LP Discord so they can come there and talk I mean I'm a little bit disappointed but you know I was hoping to that there will be more people that uh, you know it feels like mostly it's just okay. Stinking doodoo. -doo. Never go wrong with a stinking doodoo. -doo. I mean, these guys are choking. They are not necessarily right. No, they are choking, so they are not doing anything. Okay. The kapak needs to go down first and foremost. Why? Because they can. They can be dumb, that's for sure. Yeah, I was hoping there was a little more of a connection with the people that play these uh, old games too and share the hobbies. I, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like... I don't know. There's too much focus on getting money or ads or something. I, I just like to watch people play these old games. But sometimes the point of a let's play is to play with people if the people do not engage or if you don't want people to engage with your videos like hey I did this I did that if you don't care then what's the point of your let's play if you just play for the sake of playing this game and you don't want to you know listen to comments or just people telling you hey, I did this differently then why are you playing like honestly why why are you even playing a game if you I mean, you know what I'm trying to say, right? I'm not crazy. Um, probably, yes, I took damage. I'm dumb. But, what can you do about it? You can't fault me for being dumb. But you can fault me for not using spells. That, that, that I will give to you. Okay, you know what? Um, probably a stinking doo-doo will be the best choice here. Ah, oh, probably not. Let's get this Sivak. I know what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed. Maybe I was uh, I was hoping for something different. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird place. Let's plays a uh, retro. Let's plays are kind of in a weird place right now. Thorgrim, you have no weapons. Shut up and stay behind. Oh, good gods. You guys stop losing weapons. No, just just some buzz. Just, just stop. Anyway, I was saying the reason I made this channel is because YouTube is a douchebag. And I would like to get more people 
to comment on the videos so we can uh, have a trip through the games together. That's all I care. Like I don't, I, I don't want money. If I have, oh, we actually made it without getting encounters. Is that great? This room. Well, maybe if you let me read. That would actually be good. What did we find? A white magic user scroll and a red magic user scroll. So you take the red. You are overloaded. Why? Oh, jeez. Why can we not join them? Do we need to ready them? Then join them? This can only be done in Pool of Radiance, I believe. How am I going to... Okay, we have a long sword here. We can drop this long sword, and we don't we don't need it. Oh, this poor long sword will be gone forever. I'm so sorry, but no. So can you take goddamn red magic user scroll? Thank you. You take the white magic user scroll. All right. Very very cool. I think we need to go back to the outposts. And uh... by the way, we killed three three patrols. You encounter a patrol. That's the fourth patrol. I think we're done with the patrols. I think. Oh, nope. I don't. Not. I'm not gonna ho ho myself. However, I can aim for you, and you take that. You probably, you know, will do a good job if you actually equip some weapons. Now, 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 now. If I go here and cast a lightning bolt, if I cast it here, that's fantastic. Well, it was not the greatest thing ever, but you know. Uh, we probably want to aim for this guy. Jesus Christ, guys. Guys, you are horrible. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you. You are single-handedly keeping this party alive. Okay, you, Tolgrim. You no, I just no. I want to view items, and I want a longsword plus two. Thank you very much. A dwarf with a longsword. I mean, that's a shameful display. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, aim and go. So, I don't know what I was saying with all that stuff. Sometimes I let all my inner thoughts get in the way of the game. What can you do? Also, there are not many... I mean, there are a lot of Let's Players, but... You know, maybe that's the problem. We have too many... We are too many doing this, and there is not enough time to follow everybody. I mean, I do my best to follow everybody. But there's only so much Twitch I can take before getting annoyed by the odds. So, there's that. Also, time is a thing. Okay, the game tells me that there is a secret door here. Whatever. You stumble upon some draconians in the midst of setting a trap. Are we getting initiative? Or are we not getting initiative? Not necessarily. I want to... Yeah, you can attack me, guys. Just, just do your thing. Let's delay. So how about this? I'm going to use my bow... Oh, actually, actually, do you have what I think you have? No, you have, no, you don't have what I think you have. So we just have to just, yes, you had to deal seven points of damage. Fantastic. Now, can we please, oh, I didn't see this guy. I didn't, I didn't see Okay, you didn't do anything. Good job. Good job, good job me also, for not noticing the mage over there. Let's begin by 
thinning the herd. Okay, let's try this one now. Oh, you had to go there. What? Dude, how do you even miss? How? There you go. Yeah, you can explode, that's fine. Okay, so let's quit. Get this guy down. Can we please kill all of these suckers? There you go. That's much, 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 much better. Okay, Anya, please. Anya, good lord. You just suck so much. Wow. You had 7 HP. I did 6 points of damage. Isn't that great? Thank you, Anya, for not being completely, utterly useless. And there you go. We share, we exit. Evidently, the Draconians have only recently begun to infest the temple of Huarzid. So I was saying, before all, these, before all of these dumb thoughts that I have, that my re in my first playthrough in my big channel, um, I had a lot of trouble with the encounters. That is because I didn't have a good party, or a good enough party. Here a soft rustle of movement. Uh-huh. How about we go this way instead? Okay, this is the exit of the temple. It resets the encounter. Now, we can get inside it here. This room was once a very opulent bedchamber. Judging from the religious object in the room, it must have belonged to the high cleric of Wurzid. You have found a treasure, yes. Okay, what did we find? A longbow and a white magic user scroll. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious right now? A longbow? Take everything, I mean... Are you serious right now? Okay, I think we don't have any more encounters. We don't get to... Soft rustle of movement, sure. Okay, are we going... Okay, this is a... Enclosed space, so we need to go inside here. Pick the lock. There are many statues lined up against the northern end of the room. Okay. The description of this statue reads Kiri Jolit. The description of this statue reads a chair. The description of this statue... Can game, can you please... Can you please make me read these things? A, a, a red scroll and a wand. Fantastic. The description of this statue reads Mishakal. Okay, these are the various gods. Strange figure in the mist ahead. You get a strong feeling that he wants you to meet him to the east. Oh, okay. Pick the lock. There is nothing. Pick the lock. You see the glint of something shining in the far reaches of the room. A cloud of gas envelops the party. We still found treasure, by the way. Okay, now we are talking. Now we are talking. Okay, we got everything we wanted from this place. And camp fix, please. Okay. So what I want to do... Let's go right. Uh, I want to go here. Actually, I want to explore everything here. But let's go in here. We got. We are attacked by draconians, of course. Okay. So this encounter. Priority goes to the casters. I do believe there is. Oh, there are two casters. Okay. But you know what I also believe? Do you know what? I have a fireball. And I'm gonna use it. No, do not attack your ally, you dummy. Also, you have a... Uh, you don't have a fireball thing. You have a necklace of missiles? What is that necklace of missiles? Is this, is this, is this a, a magic missile? Probably. No, this is a fireball. Oh, good job, me. I just... Oh, right. Exactly. Kibitz told me that. Yeah, the two corner there. Okay, are safe. Okay, manual. We have that. So we can... Um... <laughs> 
I could cast a fireball over here. Would it get everybody? I don't know. Probably not. Well, that was a nice fireball, by the way. Kill these guys, please. There you go. Now we have to kill this guy. Oh, thank you for coming to us. I think we can just easily deal with you right now. Okay. You find some papers and record them as journal entry 37. 37... Okay. Stage 3 is about to begin. The good armies are marching on sanction and our friendly adventurers are still trying to figure out how to get the Dragonlance. So Lebom has been working in the arena of Durgast. He will begin to raise his army as of undead as soon as the good armies are in position. We anticipate that this will take another day or two. I have blue dragons stationed at Durgast to guard the eggs and red dragons are waiting to give me ward when he has finished his preparation. When I hear from him, the final stage will begin. Okay, if you say so. From out of the depths of the room, a strange figure appears. The amulet glows, the amulet glows soft. Glows a soft brown, okay. Without any apparent sound, you will hear the strange figure reveal itself as a shadow person. It says that you can now go through the secret door that is located at the northern end of the hallway. This leads into a large room. The entrance to the caverns is in the upper left corner of the west wall of, of that room. Follow the corridor from there until you find a door. The conclave will meet with you. The shadow person suddenly leaves with a soft rustle. Okay, because we have basically um, completed this map, thank you, we can... Yeah, I don't want... Uh, yeah. Uh, spectral image, whatever. I, I want to go back. I want to identify some items. We can exit from the front door now. You go through the sanctioned docks, and what I want to do... Okay, Targaryen first has to level up. Okay. So we can go in here and train Targaryen, a level 7 fighter. Okay. View Targaryen. He's now level 6-7. Okay, he's got 9 taco. 1d8 plus 6. He has 55 HPs, not bad. I mean, could be good, better, but we are multi-class, so it is what it is. So, are we maxed out? I think, to get level 7, we need to get a lot of experience. Uh, everybody else is just far away from the level up, except Sir Adrian. So, Adrian should be able to... Um, back off, I don't care about you guys. Please, realize your place in... Uh, the food chain. Sanction weapons meat. Yes, I want to buy some weapons. I also want to view and see if I have... Okay, I did this thing. A two-handed sword plus... What? A two-handed sword. Okay, a ring of protection plus one. Which you already possess. So, Elsa, please get this. Also, Elsa... Ooh. But Elsa already has a... Here's the problem. Like, you can get to minus 2, no problem. But you have already a halberd, it's 1d10 plus 10. 1d10 plus 10. So who could use the halberd plus 1? Huh. Probably nobody. I mean, I could sell this. I was hoping to get like a plus 2 or plus 3 200 sword, but... I was not lucky, so we're stuck with this. Okay, this gives me 500 and this 500, so it's pretty much the same. I guess we could sell this. I guess, we could sell this basic. Okay, so we do have other things we probably want to ID. So Adrian, okay, you have a shield plus one, you don't need a basic shield. Fantastic. What about Anya? You have some items here. Identify this thing. 
magic missile, identify this thing. Oh, for Pete's sake. View items, please identify this thing. One spell, I did this thing. It's a long blow plus long blow. It's a long bow plus one, I did this thing. Two magic uses scroll for the white mage. Go. Auralia, are you really, really, really overloaded? How can Auralia be overloaded? Oh, we have too many items here. We can ID this. Uh, can we join? Can we ID this thing? This is just a normal, normal sword. We have too many. We have too many things here. Um, can just oh boy we can just sell this back yeah we have too many of these scrolls so this we can keep Anya okay view items you can trade this to Auralia you can also trade the longbow to Auralia fantastic Okay, so view items, ID the scroll. You got three spells here. I guess we can sell this one and get the one from Anya. We can trade this red magic user scroll to Sariel. Okay, so can we buy some arrows? Overloaded. We have too many items here. Is there anything we can sell? Yes, the composite longbow is one. Okay, we're doing 1d6, 12. With this one, 1d6 plus 1, 11. So I guess we can sell this thing. All right, so we can buy some arrows. We have to do this for each arrow. We just have to join. Then we have to go back to buy arrows. View items, we can join. We can go back to buy some arrows. You can join them. Fantastic. So we have 94 arrows. Sariel, you need... You are encumbered, right? You probably are encumbered right now. Can we remove anything from you? The bracelets of AC6 are probably useless. So we can sell them. You can actually buy some arrows. Yeah, you overloaded. Okay, so join... I completely forgot about the limit on the inventory space. You can join. All right. So, 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 we can share, we can leave. Before we do anything, before we do anything, let us go back to the outpost. All right. Yes, I want to go to the outpost. You can do whatever you want. Uh, we can go next to the vault. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I want to deposit. 2020 gold pieces. Good. Now, we can go to the inn. We can now try to scribe some of the scrolls. Uh, magic scribe. Okay, we have a lot of these things. Get haze. We already know the spell. We already know the spell. Dimension door. We cannot scribe the spell, though. Scribe. All right, we know all of the spells here. We can eventually, uh, okay, we have protection from normal missile, hold person, dispel, ray of enfeeblement, charm monsters. I don't think we can do anything here. Uh, I guess you can memorize this. I guess you can memorize some more uh, stinking doodles. I did throw a fireball, so let's memorize that. There is one, so Anya, I need you to memorize what? An old person and probably a prayer. While Torgrim memorize your bless. Let's rest. Exit, fix. Okay. I think... Yes, I want to enter. We, I think we can use the front entrance here. Uh, I want to go to do. Oh, we can go to do. No, where's it? Is what we, where's where we need to go. And you make me go obviously on the 
most horrible part. We don't need to search, just move. A small door, yes, I know. Yes, let's go. Okay, let's encamp, save on A, and I think that's it for this episode. I'm gonna continue next time. I'm gonna meet the shadow people, and uh, I will. Uh, yeah, I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and sorry for the rant or whatever it was. Bye bye.